We were set to go. The guys were excited. It was on. The fishing for swordfish off the coast of uh, Florida right now is unbelievable. The tackle we use for daytime dropping is very different than what we use at night. In the day, we drop so deep with so much weight that if you don't use an electric reel to get down and up, you won't be a very productive sword fisherman. The rod starts to go and Froggy's like, there he is, we're getting a bite. Fish on! You gonna go off to the left or what? Go to the front, go to the front. Go to the front. Walk up, don't rub it on the side of the boat. Back up and go this way. That way. A swordfish is not that easy. We noticed that the line was bunching up on one side. Are you bunching up? Yeah, but not enough to prevent it from coming okay. in. Yeah. Okay. okay, there's the wind on coming on. All of a sudden, it was locked on the far right side. I think we're just gonna have to continue to inch him up. Froggy, I think we're gonna have to start helping him with a hand line and have him finger it over as he winds it with his hands to take the pressure off. Okay, start to wind, start to wind. wind. Froggy starts hand lining the line. I start running my fingers and trying to smooth it out over the back of the reel, spread the line out. All these things put together is a recipe for disaster. I'm pulling it over, he's trying to wind on the reel and we're getting it, it's coming in, and we get to a point where he can't reel anymore. I'm locked up here a little, I got a lot of slack careful. here. It's a good fish, man. Got color. We got a nice story here, guys. We had a lot of mishaps in a row. And every five minutes, I felt fortunate that we still had the fish on. Nice fish, dude. Nice fish. Woo! Fortunately, it was daytime, so you could really see the coloration on the swordfish and um, the sort of browns and silvers and a little bit of purple in the back. And just seeing the length of the bill was something really spectacular to see. 200 pounder. For me, it was really part of the excitement was to be able to release it and to be able to see it swim away. OK, now, come on, roll over, baby. Here it comes. There you go. Let's go. Come on, do it. There he goes. The fish dove straight down, almost as if, as if it was heading right down to 2,000 feet of water again. It was just neat to see it take off and swim straight down below the boat. That was, uh, that was exciting to see. Nice job. Nice job.